Turning our attention now to the ASX, here's Matt Burney and Bulls and Bears with the latest public company views and interviews. Welcome to Bulls and Bears, brought to you today by critical minerals company Tyvan Limited, ASX code TVN. I'm Matt Burney and I'm joined now by the Executive Chair of Tyvan, Grant Wilson. Hi Grant. Hello, Matt. How are you? I'm good. Okay, so Taiwan is looking to commercialise its critical minerals deposits to produce vanadium, titanium and iron oxide fines using its patented 100% owned mineral processing technology called the Taiwan Process. Taiwan, the company, recently partnered with CSIRO in a technology licence agreement providing Taiwan with a worldwide licence for use of CSIRO's critical minerals processing intellectual property which underpins Taiwan's vanadium and titanium processing flow sheet. Okay, Grant, we'll get into that in just a moment. Firstly, tell me, how much vanadium and titanium do you have in ground and across how many deposits? Let's have your resource statements. Sure, Matt. So we own Spiwa, which is up near Wyndham at the top of the East Kimberley in Western Australia. The largest hard rock vanadium resource in the world. It's called Spiwa. It's nearly 5 billion tonnes of hard rock in the ground, as well as Mount Peak, which is a much smaller resource down near Alice Springs in Central Australia. How big is Mount Peak? 250 million tonnes. Okay. Now, what exactly is the Taiwan process and how does it differ to what's out there now? Sure. So the vanadium industry in Australia has been sort of threatening to break out for about a decade and the Taiwan process hopefully will achieve that in the sense that it breaks down these hard rocks into three revenue streams. So we have vanadium, titanium and iron. Now, this is a key difference in the traditional pathway referred to as salt roast. Okay. Now, tell me, what are the nuts and bolts of this CSIRO partnership agreement recently announced? Why do you need them? Very important agreement. Obviously, CSIRO is a highly prestigious organisation in Australia, internationally recognised. This is a reshoring of technology. In the future in the critical minerals sector, it's not just about the resources in the ground, it's about the mineral processing technology. You, your audience could think of it as an arms race. So it's very important we have this technology onshored in Australia so that we're able to advance it, develop it, pilot it, and ultimately own it and deploy it here in Australia. Right, so you've got your own technology, Tyvan, but you're merging that with CSIRO's technology, is that right? Yes. There was a change of control event at this company about a year ago, which I led, and previous management had been developing this technology offshore in Germany and Austria. In parallel, CSIRO had been working on their own advances, and so part of the initiatives that I've led at the company were to merge these efforts in the first part of this year. We've been working in close collaboration with CSIRO for over six months, and we were delighted earlier this week to ink that agreement formally in binding form, which creates alignment between Taiwan and CSIRO really for the next 20 years. So that's an exciting development, and I think a precursor of how the critical mineral sector will develop in the future in Australia because it's very much about R&D. Grant Wilson from Taiwan Limited, thanks for joining me on Bulls and Bears. And remember, we're only here to give you information, not advice, which you should, of course, seek independently. I'm Matt Burney, and this is Bulls and Bears. For more public company interviews, go to the Money page on the 6PR, 2GB, 3AW and 4BC websites and click the Public Companies tab.